Now, here is one of their mastering EQs. And what's great about this one is these are all detents and they're half steps. So that's 0.51 and they're all matched, if you will. And then you can flip this switch up here and you can get a quarter gain for every one, you're getting 0.25 dB. So you could have this at 20 dB and then I will drop it down to five. So there's a lot of cool little things that you could do with a mastering compressor. And of course, you're paying the, the price for something that has that many controls, that much uh, flexibility. It also has a cool auto bypass mode to where you could flip it on and like every three to five seconds, it turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. Or you could bypass the whole unit with these center knobs. And then if we come to, let's say this EQ, this is a Shelford Rupert Neve inductor EQ. Basically, it's the best of the best that everybody coveted with Neve designs, and he built it into a new version with today's components and signal noise ratios. Really nice unit. And they make that in channel strips and all sorts of things, but here is just the EQ only in a 500 module. Now, if we come over to recording, signal processing, and click on mastering, this kind of opens up a little bit of a different world because, yes, we still have our EQs, but only the higher end ones. So you got your PQ, you got your, your PASIC. Um, here's a Millennia EQ. Now, the mastering section has all the EQs, but it also has like your mastering bus compressors and things like that. So we got a thermionic culture bus compressor. But now we're starting to get into some of the more interesting things. So we have the master bus transformer, which is kind of a channel strip, if you will, for mastering, but it doesn't have a mic pre in it. So it doesn't fall as into the channel strip category. It's more of a mastering EQ compression uh, saturation device. Same thing with the bus processor. We have EQ, we have width control, we have compression, but this is a little bit more, I'll say, in the pristine realm, uh, finesse type stuff. And then we have things like tape emulation module that basically makes it sound like you're going to tape. And I believe they actually use a real tape head inside of this box. So there's probably some nano flux webbers going on, uh, even though there's no tape in here and uh, getting you that sound and saturation with some transformers also.